Don't get banned. <laughs> cool. So you guys return to Cyrus's cabin. And, I mean, you just barely left it not too long ago, so what would you guys like to do? Troll can sniff. I would like to find some place to sleep and sleep. Cool. Well, she has her room, which is the, which has a soft bed, and a side room, which does have another bed. What does the bed just, smell like? <clears throat> I'll just sleep over here by the fire. Um, he's gonna sleep by the fire. The the bed in her room smells like um, wolf fur and dust. Nice. I'll be taking a nap there. Cool. So Sniff curls up. Oh, we both grabbed at the same time. <laughs> Sniff curls up on the bed, and you guys, and Shinor, will go. Well, he'll lay on the porch. He likes it there. He wants to be close. To wants his to be clo- trees. close to his lovers. Um, you should put him in the kitchen where the meat is and make him feel weird. <laughs> but it's his choice. And I don't think he'd do that. Or a sausage. <laughs> um, is that a little golden pig in the room? It is not golden. It's just just the... It's a pig head. Yeah, that's cute. Not all the stops. All right, so give yourself a long rest. If you got hit, you can. Oh yeah, you both got pretty low. I did re- do remember that. Um, you can go back to your full hit points. Um, and officially, we're going to level up here, but it'll be the end of this episode since I forgot to tell you last time. Since we actually didn't but finish. I don't level up. You're, you, we're all going to level up together. Oh. You're, you're learning a lot being carried away by a giant. Oh, yeah. By a living statue. Yep. Um. Go ahead and both of you, when you're waking up in the morning, give me a perception check. Seven. Wow, both of you rolled lower than ten. Mm-hmm. Um, so you notice that these candles, kind of like in the cave when the dwarf died, that his candles disappeared and mm-hmm. went out. Um, the yellow candles in this house stay lit, but that blue candle in the room with Sniff does go out. Mm-hmm. And it is by what looks to be a journal. Mm. What would you guys like to do? <clears throat> Sniff would like to investigate the journal. Awesome. So Sniff goes up Look, starts looking through this journal. It's already open, <clears throat> and the page that it's on, um, you see, is recently written, and says at the top to the adventurers. Um, you gonna read through it? The rest, the rest of the book or rest of the journal seems to have um, coordinates and like hunting logs of stuff that the hunter had been hunting the past few years. Um, Nothing pops out. Um, But that last page does concern you guys. Um, You did have a a rest right before um, 
you guys left this place. And she was in this room. So she must have barely written it. Before you guys left. Um, it says, To the adventurers that I met, I hope that when you return here, it is not with me. For if I am here, when you return, our mission has failed. I implore you to take the key and my mask west. You can use the dogs if you would like. They, they know the way. Also, in the drawer of this dresser is your payment. Um, please talk to Aurelius. She knows more about what is going on here than I did. I thank you for your service. I know it was weird if I am not with you anymore. And in the one of the drawers of that desk is a sack of 100 silver. Nice. <sighs> now come over here. <clears throat> you ready to go, Sniff? Yeah, I will be... I'm going to snoop around a little bit more to find some ingredients and some useful things for our journey before we go. We are able to take any of the things we find necessary since we won't be coming back yeah. and nobody I mean, dwells here anymore no one dwells here anymore so you're welcome to anything you hear um i get distracted by the smell coming from this room and come in and take all the food yeah um there is a fair amount of food it looks well prepared but she probably didn't eat it she probably mostly just fed it to her animals that's okay. I'll eat it. But it's good. Like it's it's ma it's made for people, but like it's well seasoned, well well done sausages and meats, well preserved, so you can take as much as you need. How many cabinets head? are in this uh in this building? Cabinets? Uh, do I like roll check? Um for looting. You can do an investigation check. Uh, yeah, plus five. I know you're you're good at. Oh yeah, that's really good. What do I find in these in the house? Um, <clears throat> so this lady was a spirit. She wasn't a, a living being. So a lot of these things that you find here are old and um, not really worth a lot. Um, in the drawers you do find uh, things of ink and old papers and a few more empty journals. Um, around the house, you do find spices that she would use for create or making her meats. Um, but would you ever need any of those spices, Chalk? I could maybe use some the spices. All right, we we shall share them then. Um, but everything else looks untouched for a long time. Will there be any literature? There is not, surprisingly. What a boring spirit. Alright, I got... I will obtain the ink, paper, journals, and divvy the spices between me and Cholk. Cool. Yeah, um, it, you actually do think it's a little weird that she didn't have any books being out here in the middle of nowhere. Just a journal that's empty. Um, even like 
it looks like there should be books in some of like the like the nightstands, but the the drawers are have been empty. Is there anything written inside the journal? Not or is the, it the journal? Me. The journal. The journal on top of the desk has um, information about her hunting hunts and the little note to you guys. And then the journals that are in inside the the drawers were empty. Like they look pretty new. Like she was gonna write in them later. All right. I will also pocket that journal. Awesome. Cool. Usually it's like Shall to we get control? head to town. Yeah. Let's mount up. Cool. So you guys I'm go outside. I'm in some new patches of fur on this dog. <laughs> I was actually looking online before we started for a, a wolf that had like bald spots, but that's not a very common sight. You no, you might you're gonna look up mange for that one. I just wanted like a like a little tiny bit. Oh, but use AI. You'll find it. I don't. That would have been so funny seeing that. I know. I, I thought about it. I have I have the mid journey, but I don't have a subscription right now, and I'm out of s stuff for it. Cool. Thanks for right, the do follow. Do we bring house down now? Thanks. No. There's thanks no for the follow. For that. All right. I Plus, thought it was a, I thought it was a very well goodbye for the spirit that lived here that no longer resides. I you actually need it later on. <laughs> I'm like I I actually think uh Shinor might burn down the, the cabin. <laughs> on accident. No, and like that's that's kind of his thing is he burns down dead wood to feed the the trees around. So do we burn it? We will you can come back if you if he wants to. We may need it later. <laughs> Cool. So you guys jump so on the. the Fine. You All guys right. jump on the big wolves and head towards the town. So as you're running through the trees, it starts to open up a little bit, and you get the new scene going. Not that one. Uh, this one, I think. I've checked the lasagna. <laughs> Did you get my thing I sent you? <laughs> On TikTok? No, but we have a lasagna in the oven. I sent you uh, something that deals with lasagna a little bit. Tiny oh, bit. My goodness, how ironic. Did I tell you we were doing that today? No. It's not... It, it wasn't the, the lasagna part that I... Sent it for you. Uh, it was actually a picture of Garfield that says "chunk" and "chorny." Little lasagna makes me horny. That's why I kept the name because of Garfield. <laughs> yeah, I sent you a picture of a person at a thrift store, and one of the shirts they found was "Gay Garfield." <laughs> I like lasagna <laughs> and cock. <laughs> what should I come back to? <laughs> Are the campaign? We're talking about the lasagna and what you were doing to it. Oh. I definitely didn't do anything to it. <laughs> anyway. So you guys start... The, the woods start to open up. And you see what looks like an uh, old but um, deliberate path heading west as well as some footprints that are more recent. Are they really, really big footprints? They're really, really big footprints. 
I just thought it was clever. Um, and as you get closer, you begin, begin to see um, those same statues off in the distance. Are they also sentient, or are they dormant? Right now, the, the ones you can see um, seem to be pretty dormant. Well, the, the ones you can see, you can only see one right now. It's, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, and it's actually missing its head, so it's probably pretty dormant. Um, and you make your way to Sil Silvervale. I saw that both of you were on Al Alba Rodeo when I was doing this. Oh, I, I know I'm not... like I know like I know you're not actually in it, <laughs> but if you are, I don't want you watching. So I've made Fog of War on everything. Okay. I get it. No, I just don't want to close the page and have a hard time finding it again. So I just leave it inactive and close the window down. Um, so yeah, you start walking towards town, and it's a small village. It looks like in the trees there might be more foundations around, like this town used to be a lot bigger, but has slowly gotten smaller and smaller over time. <clears throat> um, you do see around the town there are four statues three of which look destroyed. Um, one of them, the footprints lead right to this one far in the corner. Um, you see a tent to your right side and a floating ship at the far end of town. Um, what looks like a pretty well taken care of building on your left next to a church and on the far side a building with a stable and looks like lots of rooms probably some kind of inn where would you guys like to go? Eladora is inside the sewer grate. Um, yeah. You wouldn't be able to see it. She is down below. Okay. Are you so, uh, What's that? I would like to. I would like to investigate the tent. Awesome. Um, sneakily I do have a I would have had the interiors of these done but when I was trying to set up the whole switch thing for Hannah, the internet I messed up and I thought I deleted her account permanently <laughs> I would have been so upset and oh. I almost had a heart attack and so I stopped doing my D&D &D stuff for a second for a while, because I was ma had to make sure that her save was still intact. She already has like 50-something hours in the game. But it turned out good. It's still good, and she's... She doesn't have an... She has, she's, has an account and is hooked up to the internet, but doesn't have a Nintendo... The paid account yet. Because I got so... A month, a month, or the whole year? Yeah, I was going to set it up all the way but after I thought I deleted her save I was freaking out a little bit I almost died I felt like I was having a heart attack I was like oh shit <laughs> <laughs> but her save's fine cool but I was going to have the entire in inside of all these buildings set up but I will have that ready next time um, and also at this point you are going to be 
kind of given five different quests. You can choose which order to pursue these on. Um, so I'm, I'm leaving it a little bit open for you at this point. Are there quests the buildings? Um, each person in this town. Um, but yeah, you can head up to the tent. You're going to sneak up. S carefully sneak up and peek through the, the fabric door. Cool. Roll me a stealth check. I died. I didn't see it pop up. What did you do? get? But you didn't see it? I it didn't pop up on my screen. You're not seeing it? I do see it now. No. Um I mean that's a tiny bit better, but <laughs> I'm seeing all of those. <laughs> Each one's this footstep. <laughs> okay. Cool. I'll with just a take this with a six, um, you peek in. So we'll move you there. You peek in the fabric door at the exact same time. A woman opens it. Uh, this woman is in very bright clothing. She steps back a little bit and goes, oh, hello. Um, her co clothing is very bright. She has flowers in her hair, a beautiful purple dress flowing behind her. Um, her shoes look very worn, um, but in nice condition. And she seems to almost be standing on her toes. And she's wearing a mask that covers half of her face. Oh. I'm going to do attack of opportunity. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, you attack her right off the bat? No. Um, I say, pardon me, but I'm interested in what you have in this very luxurious fabric tent this, uh, this year. May I know what you are doing? Is this your tent? Um, her eyes flicker around with a little bit of fear, a little bit of um, trepidation, and her eyes go up to the statue that is in for, kind of in front of her tent. And she looks back down and she's like, Oh, yes, yes, I will tell you all about it. This is my theater. And she pushes open the rest of the door, the little fabric door, and inside there is a dance floor in the middle raised about two feet off the ground um, a wood wooden platform very nice condition someone takes very well care of this um, and then chairs and seats all around this platform she's like this is my theater I perform here all the time. Although I haven't, haven't had many people to come and watch me lately. Would you be would you be wanting a performance? As long as you don't take off your garments, I'm willing to attend your performance. Uh, oh, that, yeah, of course. I'm not not that kind of performer. Just the dance is what I do. Did you did you come here on the the Sentinel? We we did come on the Sentinel. 
Oh. Interesting. I was always told he, he would lock away anyone who he brought here. But I'm glad to see that you're not locked away. I think that's just for humans. Who's going to lock away an adorable little dog? I, I guess that might be true. But, that, I mean... So you came... That means... I When I saw the Sentinel leave yesterday, I I thought just for an instant that the living might be back. She reaches down and, like, tries to touch you. Do you let her? Uh, I get a little skittish when her hand touches my head. And yeah. then I politely back away and stare at her with whale eyes. So, like, yeah, her when her fingers come in contact with you, it's cold. And you back away before she can really make any purchase she's like sorry sorry i just haven't seen uh a living intelligent creature in a long time is is there any more of you how did you get here how did you i mean into the valley we followed the giant that led us here uh maybe the magic is waning Aurelius will be sad to hear that. Aurelius? Where is Aurelius? Oh, she is in the, the library across the way and points to the first building on the left. Mind me to stop back after I watch your performance. Do you mind if other people come to enjoy the audience? Oh, I will. I will. I would love for anyone to come. I will I'll be performing tonight. Perfect. And she and gets, we shall be back. She gets all all giddy and runs back into her her tent to prepare. What is Trolk doing? Um, taking his note. Wandering aimlessly around this place, looking at the statues. And inspecting this downed one and then looking at these two that seem to be the this one's headless right yeah the head yeah I think is in front of it so inspect this one and then this one and then go look at this one cool um, roll me investigation or arcana whatever feels better for you they're the same thing and that's a 10 a 10 um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> the the statues that are all knocked over or the one that's knocked over seems to be pretty old very weathered and it doesn't look like anything like pushed it over it just over time has has fallen apart um you see on the one with the missing head um it looks almost like you would think stretch marks around the where it broke but it's raw it's stone so that's kind of, kind of weird really? um and then you go to the the one the intact one Mm -hmm. And as you get close, you can see the um, the face that you saw before. It's kind of shining under its helmet. And you can tell that this one is definitely still active. And there is a, a powerful magic pulsing from it still. But doesn't seem to look at you or even notice you there, move or anything when it, you get close. Interesting. All right. I think uh, Shanor is grooming the young saplings. <laughs> um, do I happen to see this giant pit in the 
the is it a um, pit or is it a cage? It is a, a sewer. It is a, it is a cage. Um, it's just like a hole in the ground with the grates over it or something. Yep. I mean, it, you can't see it, but there's a roof on it too. So I guess yeah, you'd see it. You wouldn't know what it was. Um, but if you're not going planning on going in any of the buildings, you would definitely wander past it. Yeah. Do I see a, a a person inside said cage? Yeah, you do. Um, Veldoris is at the bottom of the cage, has been there for the last day. Um, and I think you are actually the one holding the key. And look at that yeah, I picked it up. <laughs> look down. Approach, I'm, I'm like awake or something. I'll like look down kid, and be kid. like, "She is pretty." Well, hello there. Uh, hello. Who's there? Mm, Thorok. I think I have a way to get you out. Oh, how how are you gonna get me out? Um, one moment, and I'll dig through my bag and pull out the key. Um, so this thing doesn't look like it has any keyholes in it. But as you lift the key towards it, it begins to glow um, the same color as the sentinel's face. And the cage itself pops open and your key disappears. Thank you so much. But how did you get the key? Where did it come from? Um, we found a dead lady and she had us kill a dead thing and that's where the key was you killed that which is dead yeah i think so i don't know shadows do die twice <sighs> it's all well, a little of my very much. understanding so where is everybody else where's where's sniff where um, is... last I saw Sniff was talking to a, a lady, um, and Shandor was talking with the plants. As he always does. Well, yeah. anyway, I, I think we should get out of here. I am kind of scared of these issues. Um, All I'm taking me away and locking me up over here in this cage. I thought yes. I was never going to see that ever again. Um, we apparently need to talk to somebody here in the library. But I don't know what or where that is. <laughs> so. Well, I guess we could try and find out. There's only a few buildings here. Sniff knows where the library is. Where is it, Sniff? It'll be the first building on our left when we came in on our entrance. This little village has a church, has a barn, for some reason a ghostly ship, a tent with a circus performer, and then a library. A big bunch of things that probably shouldn't be together. But here they are. Just this place is very confusing. You know how these people got here in the first place? Were they were they taken here by the statues? From what we've it, experienced in the past, I'm gonna assume they are like the others that we've met. The dwarf in the cave and the up the undead woman huntress that we met after you got captured. Things seem to have relations here. Hi, Joe. What up, Jackson? Oh. Maybe we should go to the library to investigate. I agree. To the library. Cool. Lead the way. Right over here. Um, 
So you enter the library, and it smells of dust and old books. And up, you can see over a banister upstairs, a little, looks really young woman um, in a mask. The mask is shaped kind of like an owl's face, really highlighting her eyes. Um, and she hears you come in and peeks down. And goes, oh, you're here. She comes running down the stairs. Comes out. I, I, I saw the sentinel leave yesterday. Um, and I sent the huntress after you. I'm glad that you made it. I'm glad that the sentinel didn't lock you guys up. How are you? We are alive. Good. I mean, really good. She comes and like starts like walking around you. She is um, small, not as small as Sniff, but little. Like a she has, or something? What's that? She's like a half owl or something? Um, she's not a half owl. She looks more like a regular human. Or a uh, uh, halfling size. The, the token you just put up. Of the I, owl, I know. We can't. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's only a, it's only a mask, but it, it's a, a little little human. Um, looks to be like mid twenties. Um, has a still has a book in her hand. Has an an inkwell hanging from her belt. Um, and she's just walking around you guys, getting a really good in-depth look at you guys. Oh, I see you guys have weapons. That may be good. Why would we need the weapons at a library? Oh, oh, not for my library. My library is perfectly safe. For... We came to obtain knowledge, the Huntress promised us that you would have for us about this place. This place, yes, yes, yes. Um, our land. The Loannans? You've heard of them? We've heard the name in passing by. Yes, they um, they are searching, we're always searching for knowledge too, but they look in dark places, they look in the deep, deep caverns they're not supposed to. They find a creature. Um, I think they called it the Shadow Sovereign. And they didn't want it to get out. And that's why they, they caused this calamity, this, this silver. Um, caused the, all the death. It is a cage. Um, the problem is main problem no one so were you saying you were trapped here yes I came here looking what for the trying trying to find their knowledge they're, they're very stingy they don't like to share they would send emissaries to different lands and those emissaries would bring back books and magics but would never share I I'm a librarian. I love books. I was hoping that while I was here, I could peruse their library, their stock of books, um, but they never let me in. And then this happened while I was here, and I can never leave. Where did you come from? I'm from pretty far away. My, and my curious. Why, why do you wear that mask? Uh, the mask is part of the curse, I think. Um, it keeps certain people from turning violent. <clears throat> um, I know that it has it has a connection with the the 
Shadow Sovereign. I have a... I don't have the ability, the, the power, I guess, to fight my way into that library to find more knowledge. I have a, I have a good amount, but I want to find the rest. I want to figure out exactly what happened. I've talked to as many Loannans that will come out of their caves. Not many do. But the Shadow Sovereign um, is contained in some objects. I suspect they are these masks. I don't I'm not a hundred percent sure. They the, the Lenins are very again stingy with their knowledge. Um but the masks didn't go to them, they came to non Loannans. There's ten of us. I don't know if, how much you have heard. But I suspect I suspect that if you can get all of the masks all of the people together. I have tried. I've gotten these guys to come and live in this town. But the alchemist and the the witch and the huntress and the dwarf and a, and a couple others refuse to come and come close to the other masks. Where do they live? Um, the huntress is out in the woods. She was, I, I, she's very nice, but she wanted to be on her own. Um, she came here the same time I did in search of the, the white buck or whatever, something like that. Um, she had been trying to find it for this whole time, this 50 years. Um... The dwarf, I haven't heard of, seen or heard from him in years, so I don't know where he is. Uh, the witch is out in the swamps. She's crazy, but nice. Um, and the alchemist and um, um, the, the alchemist and his wife, they are in an old destroyed town up north they I they just don't like people he is very angry and but he likes to make potions and he's very good at it but if you I believe if you can gather the masks together that you can see the shadow sovereign and confront him. But I'm, I'm, I've been unable to do it, so I'm not 100% sure that that's what the case is. But, uh, living things like the Loannans, they have the power to see things that we cannot. That's why I've been hoping <clears throat> these past 50 years that adventurers like you would come. Many have tried. They are still out in the wilder in the, the forests and the, the swamps, but they are not in their right mind. They lose a part of them and it feeds the sovereign. This place is safe because of our, our sentinels. Well, our sentinel. We had four. But over the years the Sovereign has slowly um, absorbed their powers. And it, it kind of... Why kind of, the Sentinel took me and locked me up? The Sentinel was, I guess, uh, built to find living things and bring them here. I, 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 I didn't know that you were locked in there. I stick to my library. I did see him leave, but I did not know that he brought back anybody. I am sorry for leaving you in there. I don't have a key anyway. 
You have food. I'm hungry. Oh, I. I've got maybe, some. Maybe maybe some at the inn, but a little bit of meats at the inn, maybe breads, but nothing much. We don't eat here. I pull out some of my f- food. Trolk did bring you some food. Oh, thank you so much. I am famished right now. Um, but the 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 innkeeper. He. Let me see if I did that right. Yes, he is very happy to help. He can get food. And and he has beds for you. Um, but if you if if you want to help us, if if that's why you're here, I assume you wouldn't cross the boundary unless that's the reason you're here. Is it? We heard you have really good soup. That that's that's why you came into the valley. <laughs> uh. No, uh, the druid here hired us to come here. Other than that, we don't know why we're here. I'm really sad that Tanner's not here. I know. But yeah, your main... I, I, he hasn't said a thing. Banned. Chandor, why are you so quiet? <laughs> <laughs> just, just thinking about those trees, man. Um, so I guess Shandor explains what happened to um, Aurelius, and explains that yeah, there you guys are here to attempt to break the curse. And you're kind of stuck here now, so. She's like, oh, great. Um, yes, the, o- the only thing I really have for you, for now, you can, you can try and gather the rest of the masks here. You can go to the, the northern town and talk to the the alchemist and his wife to see if they will come here. Um, you can try and convince the witch, but she she's going to take a lot of convincing to do so. Um, or, if you want my help, if you can head to the, the library, the, Lo- the Lannan's library, I... I know it's well guarded and I think the spirits are drawn there for some reason so it might be a little dangerous but I know they have books that go into more detail about this and if I, that's my my life's goal is to get more information on this to help end this curse and hopefully get rid of that shadow sovereign that they unleashed. Um, and if if you don't want to do that now, I, I'm sure all the people here are always wanting help with stuff. You can talk to them. Okay. Well, I'll go talk to other people and figure out what we're doing. Very well. I'm glad that you are here. What's that? Do I have permission to look through the library? Of course. It's not just a collection of books. It's a library. You're welcome to... uh, just try not to hurt the books. I've been through it many the times. Books are more likely to hurt me. Says Sniff. 
I'm sure you can find something to your liking. And she heads back into her library. I have to go to the church. Do I, do I roll for finding any kind of you can, useful books? You library? can ask her for specific information, or if you would just want to browse. We can get you whatever you want. I'll browse for a bit. Cool. Yeah, roll for... I guess perception to see if you find anything interesting. Do you see it? No, oh, no, I didn't see it. What was it? Six. Six? Yes, yeah, six. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, one second. Cool. You find many religious books. Um, there is a section on alchemy that might be something that you'd be interested, but their books are mostly gone. Um, a lot of famous books that you've seen, like The Bane of History and The Sounds in the Town and Agents and Priests... Um, they have a few things on the history of this area. Is there any books regarding the currency or the silver that is disputed amongst the town? There is. That was the other person. I knew I forgot to write one down. Do I roll to find information, or do I just... Ask. I mean, you can start reading through it, and if you have any questions, I will just answer them. Does the silver come in all forms of... all stages and forms? Can you melt it down? Can you change its physical property and still have the same effect? Um, it talks about a little bit of silversmithing and how it is this pure of silver makes it easy to work with and melting it down um, and using it in weapons and stuff has an anti-magic effect or using it in stuff like potions and stuff has an anti-magic uh, property to it um, can if, I roll for can I ask for an ecology book and roll for uh, tunnels or veins of ore that still exist of the silver or is it all dried out and turned into currency um, that is something that would be in the other library she tells you um, the Luanans were very secretive about where they got the silver from. And how they got it to be so pure. Um, there is a town of Luanans that is to the south. That is where the library is, but also the tower that is spewing out this silver mist. Um, and the tower actually leads down to where it was, where all of the silver has been mined. But no one except the Loannans have been in that tower, so there's no information on how you would find that vein. All right, I'll continue going through the few books about Camille that are there. 
Cool. Yeah, a lot of a lot of the alchemy books that are there are very basic stuff that you would know normally. Um, she does come up to you. For perception or luck to see if there's anything hidden in the pages, cool. like a note. Did you say yes? Yeah. Roll for investigation. Eighteen. Nice. Can you not see these? I can. I'm just, I, I'm looking at my other stuff while I'm. Um. I have a. A potion making guide that I don't know where exa exactly it is. And there it is. All right. Um, so while you're going through one of these books, it seems like a almost like an elementary gu guide to potion making. Um, two of the pages seem to they they're stuck together, but not by why not because of what you think. Um, the ink on there was pressed flat right after it was um, put in there. And you see uh, a quickly written note called the Potion of Possibility. Um, and it just talks about how this potion can help you do better on literally everything. Not too much information about what it is, but it says you need some ectoplasm and a skulk claw. And a skulk claw? Yep. And next to skulk claw... It talks about, you see a little thing that says uh, swamp scribbled next to it. I slam the book close and take this note with me and I will thank the tiny librarian for her assistance and I join my party. Cool. Where else would you guys like to go? Uh, I want to go to the church. Awesome. I assume this is it over here. Yep. So you step into the church. And at the front of the church, you see a man in a mask and a cloak standing at the front reading some some holy text or another. And he's like, oh, I see our guests have arrived. Um, as you get closer to him, you see under his mask is what looks to be wet stains. Wet that have stains been there. like blood or something? Not, not blood, it's... it's like tears more likely 
or spit. But it looks more like tears. Um, but it seemed to have um, stained his cloak with kind of a salty bit to it. And it's continually dripping. What can I do for you, my friend? I... I, um... Are you crying? Many of us in this town have been through some hardships. And I... I carry a lot of... I carry a lot of other people's weight on my shoulders. It is it is hard to hard to bear sometime. What is that? Who are these other people? Just like the other people in this in this town or this this town used to be a lot bigger. And when the calamity happened, the people without masks died and became like we are now. But slowly became unhinged they kept focusing on their their biggest wants in this life some people wanted a family but could now never have it some people wanted peace but again they could not leave this valley so how could they ever have peace they drove many insane and many of them are in this cemetery behind me I still carry them. I carry their guilt and their their sorrows to this day. So I am curious. You you said that that the mask had protected you from the calamity. How is it that we we are not dead yet? Because we uh, don't have masks. When the calamity first hit, the mist didn't stay in the sky. The mist was everywhere. And many of these people in this town that are here now forget it, but it didn't kill us instantly. It took it took many of us many of us days and days to finally die. And then the after a few years the the mist lifted up into the air. And we could come out of our houses, but we were not the same. Do you know why it lifted up into the air? That seems strange. I I want to believe that we are being helped somehow. Mm -hmm. But I I am unsure why it did it. It it took took um, about three years for it. To, to fully clear out of the, the ground area. I see. So, um, it's like looking at his mask, am I able to like discern if it's made out of something like magical or whatever? Um, roll me an arcana check. I guess okay. you could do arcana or oh, what is that? I don't even know if there is. What is there a church version of a uh, religious religion? Religion. religion. More religion. Now that I said religion, I was like, "That's it." <laughs> hey, I'm gonna five plus one six. Um. So you you can't really tell. Um. You've noticed that each of the masks seem to correlate with the person a little bit. The the dwarf was. Um. It had kind of a blocky art style. The I guess you never met the the huntress, but the huntress mask was a wolf because and she had lots of wolves. That was cool. Uh, the mm-hmm. librarian has the the owl kind of mask, and his his looks kind of like a uh, looks almost like godly, like a, a hero. But you can't tell if it's magical at all or if it has any significance. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna ask him. So, what? How how did you get the design of your of your mask? What is it supposed to be? Oh, I. It was there when I woke up in the mist. I don't know why they gave me this mask. I don't know who gave me this mask. Well, that's that's very strange. Just waking up with a mask on her face. It is it is oh. very strange. I have questioned it for a while, but the fact that I am still here, while many are not, I consider it some sort of blessing. Well, thank you. Is there anything we can do to to help you? Um, help you've ease I, the the pain of these restless souls over here. I. You're adventurers, and you have um, probably talked to Arulis. She probably talked your ear off a little bit. She mentioned this whole shadow sovereign devilry. She goes on and on about it. Whenever she comes up with more information, she is at my door to share it with me. Um, <clears throat> she believes that the reason our sentinel friends outside are falling apart is because the energy that sustains them is being uh, taken, absorbed into this shadow sovereign. If you are adventurers, it would be nice of you to look into that. Um... The, the well in the middle of town, mm -hmm. the, the fountain out there, it, it has kind of their ley lines of where they get their energy from. Um, I can help you, give you a direction to head to if you want to, but if this last um, sentinel goes down, those angry spirits that are out there will have free roam to come into town, and I really can't have that. I think we would appreciate the help. Okay. Because I have no idea where I am, and I'm sure that my advent my fellow adventurers also do not. Okay. Yeah, he comes. Also, he he had a scripture thing that I was reading, right? Like a some holy text. Yeah, some holy text. Okay. So, but before we go to the fountain, can I ask what? you were reading oh i got this from the library i she has many religious texts um one second make sure i get this right i am a, a follower of Edurer, the god of peace um and I came into this valley hoping to share my my God with the people here. I know they are an interesting people, those Loannans. And I guess I, I came at the wrong time, or the right time, depending on who you ask. And got stuck here. I only have this one, the, or I only have one book of Idor. But right now I am reading of different gods. Just to pass the time, uh, this is the text of Bayer, the god of endings. It's a little bit more dark than I'm used to. But. Have you heard of the god Ilmater? I have. Imadur, Ilmater, and uh, Edur are close in their goals. Uh, we don't have any of those writings here, at least in this library. I'm sure that the, the Luannans library has plenty of books on that. They traveled the world. Well, that would be interesting to, to see if they have some. 
But for now, all I can offer is a prayer um, from my God, and hopefully we can give some resolution I, and some peace to, I, to these suffering souls. I really hope so. I've been unable to contact my God since the silver came over us. I, I do also feel that. It seems like there is a small barrier. It, it wane, it'll wane after a few years, so hopefully we can get some closure with this calamity before then. Hopefully. Well, I friend, would, how I about would, we go to the fountain? Awesome. Yeah, I, I would hate minute. for you to lose your contact with your god. Awesome. So he goes out to the fountain and he puts his hands down on some very weathered markings and a light a, a quivering light kind of circulates around the, the fountain and you can tell that it's, it's waning um, and it points more west. And I still haven't made your ma guys' big map. Because I'm trying to make it fancy. Um, but he marks marks the direction on your map. And it crosses um, a small hilly area. And he's like, there used to be a temple here. I read about it a few times. Um... Possibly the source of these, these sentinel power is there. It would be a great honor if you guys could investigate that for me. Well, thank you. Awesome. And he heads back into his, t his church. Cool. Just after that, I'm, I'll go to the graveyard and just offer some prayers to the people resting there. While I wait for the other people in the party to investigate in things. Um, so the feeling you get in this graveyard is a feeling of peace and safety. Um, you do get a feeling that the the sentinels are protecting more than just the town, like, physically. They're also protecting, like, you can still feel all those people there. It's not just bodies that are buried there, it's actual entities. And they're at peace right now. And you feel like the Sentinels might be providing that peace. So if they lost this, the Sentinels, they lose more than just the town. Cool. Who's next? What do you guys want to do? Check out the inn. Hey! What up, BB? Cool. You guys walk into the inn how are you and you the first thing you see is another dwarf um this one big old smile on his face as he looks up from washing a glass that he looks like he's washed a thousand times i'm doing great bb come in come in can I get you a drink, guys? An ale would be nice. Um, and you notice as he's talking to you that his mouth isn't moving. And you get closer, and he is also wearing a mask. But his mask is 
almost flawless to what you think his face would look like. There is just a small seam around the edges. And it just is one descend a constantly gate, but I hope you have a good night, man. Constantly smiling. <laughs> Thanks for the gift. <laughs> You're amazing. And he gets you a a big glass of ale and sets it in front of you. So you guys are the the ones I who arrived so sorry. last night. I didn't know it had a sound. I usually play scary games. That's why <sighs> has that sound and it's it would scary. be so ah uh, that is I am glad that you guys are here uh, well I am here to serve you if you guys need food I can get it if you guys need to get drunk I am here for it I can get you what you need here I have rooms in the back if you have horses I have a little stable there we have wolves not horses wolves I mean, it might cost you a little bit extra, because meat's a little bit more uh, pricey and harder to get than hay, but I am for it. <sighs> you guys seem like you've been on a pretty big journey. You guys, you guys here to help? You guys trying to take out this yeah, silver? We are here to get rid of the curse. Amazing. I'm here to study this curse. To see what I can use to further create more magical potions for the future. Well, there, there is a lot of stuff here for that. You, sh you need to talk to the alchemist. He's far up north right now. Um, he comes into town every once in a while. To, to you know, throw his wares about. I'm not into potions, except the alcoholic kind. But he... That he, is the best kind of potion. Right? But he he would be someone to talk to. And also, there is a traveling merchant. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. He might have some rare items that you could use for potion making and stuff like that. Um, other than that, I don't, I don't know much about potion making. I just make some a decent food, and it goes bad because no one eats it. But now we have you guys, and so I can make anything I can make. I don't have te a lot of ingredients, like fancy stuff, but... If you need food, you need a place to sleep, I'm your man. Just bring me, bring me the silver, and I can get you uh, what you need. Is is there an alchemy table somewhere that I may use? Um, I can get you one. I mean, it's not. I can get you a, a mortar and pestle, and a place to sit, and like little drawers and stuff in the desk for all your your things. Perfect. Cool. I, I would will. like to create a potion. Awesome. He runs into one of the bedrooms and pushes out an, an old desk with lots of different drawers in it and runs into his kitchen. You hear him splash around washing a mortar and pestle and comes and sets it out on the, on the desk, pushes it into one of the corners, and he's like, that's, you know what? That's all yours. You can use as much as you want. Um, but your knight's going to cost two silver. And unless you want to pay a little ahead of time, we can do like a few weeks for ten silver. I got, I got it. I got four rooms for you guys. Is that something you'd be interested in? It's room and board. Like I'll, I'll feed you. Can I? Can I? Can I negotiate a lower price? Yeah. What do you? Uh, you're in a roll, roll persuasion, and tell me what you say. Pretty much. 
persuasion is going to be charisma. Thirteen. My charisma is thirteen plus one. So fourteen. Ken, what do you what are you gonna say? I don't take much space. Why do I need to pay full price? Do you charge all the animals in here to stay? Well, I don't. I mean, I can. I guess I can give you a discount. Uh, you want me to put a doggy bed in the corner or something? Some hay would be fine. <laughs> all right. Only a, it's over sleep would be the table. Um, you you kind of you kind of caught me a little bit. I want your silver, um, and I don't have many people coming and staying. Seeing that most of the people are not allowed in this town because they're evil ghosties, uh, so I will knock it down to five gold. Perfect for I'll seven pay that price for seven days, and you're welcome to come and go as you please. I will always have meals ready for you. Three meals? Three meals a day. Gotta keep the alive people healthy. Alright, you have my silver. Amazing. He takes this takes the silver. Um, and he seems to have um almost a, a feeling of relief when he takes that silver. Should I be suspicious of that? Roll an insight, insight check. I don't know what that is. Four. I didn't notice it then. Yeah, you just... He just seems uh, grateful that he got the money. Um... I, I know a good way that you can get more silver if you're looking for it. I mean, more silver in your pockets means more opportunities to get silver from you in the future. Let's hear what you have to say. What are these opportunities? Are they are they hazardous? Are they easy uh, money? Um, I wouldn't say easy, but you're adventurers. You can do hard stuff. You see the that that ship hanging out out there? Burn it. My, uh, he's my best customer. He's out of money, so he's not so my best customer anymore. He keeps telling me that you know you know how pirates are. He keeps telling me that there's buried treasure in this valley. And that only if he had his crew would he could he go and get it. I mean, we could just cut out the middlemen, and you can get it for yourself. Do you have the map for this? Uh, I don't have a map. I mean, the main problem would be you'd have to go talk to him about it. I'll think about that. But give me time, but give me the bat. I need to craft some some trinkets right now. All right, yeah, go ahead. Think about that. Make it 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 makes your pockets a little bit heavier. I mean, he's probably gonna want it for himself, which isn't. It'll just very slowly get spent. But I might have access to things that you want if you can provide the money. But yeah, go ahead and do your little trinket stuff. I'll be here. Alright, I am doing some things. 
crafting. Do I interest? Can I create a potion now with some of the ingredients that I have? I am not sure exactly what you have. I have ink, spices, broken glass, wood, silver, and paper. And a bunch of herbs. Some greenage. Um, yes, let's make a potion. Right. I um, would like to craft a potion of minute. Uh, your size shrinks by 1d4 foot for 1d4 hours. Potion of minute. Minute makes you shrink. second. I'm using the D5 random potion generator. 5E D&D random potion generator. Does it have ingredients on there? It does not. Okay, so you're going to have... I'll have to read through this potion-making thing that'll help, and I'll send it to you to help with that. Perfect. So we can get an actual like good system going. We could be on the same yep. potion list. You um, can send it to me now. But for now, I will just allow that potion. Because I want to see how you're going to use it. There you go. Use your imagination. You see the roll that I made? I, I did not see it, but I was going to give it to you. I got a four and a one because I used the triangle, right? Oh, are you drinking the potion right now? No. Don't I roll the craft? You just roll the d20 to craft for now. But I did, I did send you that potion brewing, and it ha it'll have a bunch of potions and ingredients, so you can actually like. And I'll read through it too, so we can make sure we get it. All right. So you have. Sorry, I'm confusion. Oh, it's okay. I just want I just want to make it a make give it a little bit of a even if you make up potions. I'm fine if you making up potions. I just want to make sure we do a good system so I don't feel like I don't you don't feel like I'm bullshitting you when I'm asking you to roll about stuff. But cool. Yeah, you have now. It's uh the one I saw was potion of dominium. Dominium? Dim Diminution. Dim and it, yeah, it gives you the reduce effect for 1d4 hours. But that's the triangle one, right? Yep. So mm -hmm. when you drink the potion, you'll become ridiculously <coughs> small for 1d4 hours, the pyramid one. Um, the red in the potion's liquid continuously contrasts the tiny bead that expands and gets smaller cool 
Roll. Are you drinking it? You, you're, you got the potion. At the moment, oh, if I have it, no, I'm not drinking it now. No, I'm you don't have to roll. It. You don't have to roll the one d four until you drink it. Perfect. And then I continue going through my ingredients. Cool. Awesome. What else would you guys like to do? Well, here. And then you. So this is pretty much all the quests. Um, you can talk to the pirate if you want to. But he is up in his ship. Um, but it's pretty much the I same. I would actually like to go and watch that dance that I was promised. Wait, of course. So you it's spend the rest, of the rest of the day making potions. Um, getting a feel of the area. Um, you guys talk to each other about what everyone has talked about, all the quests given. Um, so all the things you can do are go investigate the sentinel energy, go after pirate treasure. Um, the librarian says that you can go gather the other masks, so go and talk to the witch or go and talk to the alchemist. Um, the other mask is the the traveling salesman, which you don't know where he is. And also, she wants you to go to the library to get books with more information on the Shadow Sovereign and the Curse. And uh, help figure out how you can get rid of the Curse. So you guys discuss that, and everyone is invited to go see the dancer. I'll head over there too. So you open the the cloth door to this tent, and it looks like she has been pretty much standing there waiting. She's already in position in the middle of the stage. Um, you do see chairs all around the stage. And she begins her dance. A faint music comes from what feels like nowhere with a sad song. You feel uh, a sense of being trapped. Um, she's a Dance is kind of like a ballerina doing um, very emotional dancing. It, it looks like she wants to be happy, but whenever you get a glimpse of the her face, it seems stressed and sad. You feel that sadness as it almost feels like a magic coming off of her. And it lasts about a good half an hour of her dancing. Um, Do we know the what her mask looks like? Is there a her mask? For that? Her mask is um, a silver. It all it, it only shows the the bottom half of her face. It blocks her eyes um, so much in a way that you can't really even see her eyes. It almost looks like there's a like a mesh inside the eyes, so they stay dark. Um, <clears throat> a very fancy filigree across the silver mask. Um, a lot smaller than a bunch of the masks that you've seen for everyone else. Very dainty. <clears throat> and very, again, well taken care of. Um... After about a half an hour, the dance stops, and she seems very exhausted. Um, roll me a insight check. Whoever is watching the dance. Both of us. All right. Oh. 
18. Did Sniff roll it? What was that? Did you roll? You know? Oh, I, yeah, you I know? did. I got 18. That was Sniff. I didn't hear Sniffs. Or see it. Why is it not popping up? I don't know. Mine's been... Every once in a while it'll load again. So I think mine might be weird. Oh, you got it. Really high, too. Um, you got an 18 as well. <laughs> bunch of 18s. So you we're almost legal. <laughs> so as you're you're watching her dance, uh, you get a sense she's sending you a message through interpretive dance kind of thing. Um, you get a sense that she is trapped. And she wants to be set free. So, because this is still a sense of communication, and I have proficiency and communication with mammals, which is not really specified, I can just communicate with all mammals. Do I understand this language? This interpretive dance? Um, with that high roll... That yeah, you get you, you don't understand like specific phrases or anything, but you do. She's almost asking you to do something with this dance, yeah. But is afraid oh, okay. to afraid to say it out loud. So she's dancing to Evanescence. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, uh, about a half an hour goes by. Um, the dance ends and the music dies down to nothing. And you can even feel like some ethereal light was shine shown on her is now dying down. Oh, got the burps. The dance ends, and she lifts up again and is smiling, and that feeling disappears. She's like, thank you for coming. I, It is so nice to be able to perform with actual living people again. I asked her what was the story, what inspired her about this specific routine she showed us. Oh, it's... I, I dance... With my feelings. Um, I don't have much practice, I guess. It's just a natural thing I do. It's my uh, goal in life is to dance for people. But you were trying to convey something to us. What more about this feelings towards this dance that you created had to offer? Oh, I'm gonna see how she takes that. Uh, a, a little bit of fear pops into her face. She's like, "I, I just want to. I just wanted to dance for you guys. I, I will be performing again another night, um, but you guys are free to go." And she kind of turns to the back of the stage and jumps off. And goes behind yep. another fabric wall. I feel like maybe we should leave her alone for now. I'm not. <laughs> well, I I'm, really going, I'm going to go and go to the door where she went past and announce myself and ask if I could come in and talk to her privately. Um, I would kind of like to be alone now. And I cast her into the Shadow Realm. 
<laughs> I mean, you can push and see if you want. You can uh, persuade her to talk. Can I give her puppy dog eyes? And ro yeah, roll persuasion. Roll for puppy dog eyes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Alright. She's like very well. One second. Uh, I didn't. I didn't. Can I head at her to allow her to pet me. She smiles. And you feel a cold hand touch you, and she's like, It is nice. It is nice to feel warmth once again. I'm glad that you guys came and watched my performance. It was very, very thoughtful of you. I was trying to communicate to you. I, you are you are correct in assuming so. Sorry you feel this way about what you are experiencing. If there's any way I can help you understand these feelings i'll be more than happy to offer my assistance i mean my tail starts wagging out of play and comfort you seem like very well put together people i was once like you long time ago I was supposed to be one of the greatest, famous dancers in the world. But now I'm stuck here. And even if you guys save the world from this... This silver or this sovereign... That just means I go away. I am already dead. I kind of... Wish that it would just happen sooner. Sniff responds, saying, right now, the only important thing is to save what's in front of us before we start figuring out how to save the world. I, I believe that I am past saving. I am, uh... I wish I was with those, the people behind the church at peace, but I don't get that I get to wake up every morning. My brain goes straight to thinking about dancing, and I've been doing the same thing for how long has it been? 50 who knows too long. too long what can we do to bring you the peace that you are asking for is there something someone somewhere that we can help you get there's no one no one here i i came here with uh people i didn't know a troop we were traveling the world. They all became cursed. Some of them are wandering in these forests, dancing away. But I didn't know them personally. I, I'm just alone here. I don't want to bring you too far into it. But I believe you are the only ones who can help. If I lose this mask, I, I think the, the church man, I think he could bury me and I could, I could be under the ground with them.
Then I'd, I'd, I'd feel comfort then. Could I not tell her that she doesn't get buried? She vanishes into the ground. Well, that's your choice. Mm. She she has no idea what happens. Um, all right. I I scoot up closer to her, and a gentle nudge. I ask her, "I am here for you when you need me." Any quest is too small for the amount of grace that I have for you and your performances. Thank you, little one. I am I am glad that you have come to this town. You have you have warmed me up a bit. And that is the first I've had in a long time. Um, can I do a perception check and look around the room and see what I can steal before I walk out? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah. 18. There is a lot of, like, silver trinkets around. Um, and she has them all on, like, sort of display. Um, she traveled, like, she traveled around the valley and performed and people gave her... Um, candelabras and little statuettes and stuff as payment for her her dances um, and she keeps those on displays like trophies and then there's a chair with a, a desk and a vanity with a nice mirror on it and that's where she's sitting Ooh. and kind of staring at the desk and the, va and the mirror So, I have like four guests over, and that's that. I just looked at my phone for the first time in the past at least two hours. That's okay. <laughs> we kept going. I figured so when I saw that you all were, but I. If we knew you were coming, we would have made you lasagna. <laughs> National We're, gays have lasagna. <laughs> we'll we'll be having we'll be almost done soon, and I will oh. post the video. Okay. As soon as I download it. All right. What can I steal from her that she wouldn't really notice? I rolled an eighteen, and I'm excited about it. You rolled an eighteen for to see what was in the room, and that's pretty much all she has. Yeah. Probably about. Uh, 20 different trophies. Um, roll a bit with advantage. So roll one more because she is uh, very focused on her desk right now. So we'll do that 17. Um, so right next to the flap that you came in, there is um, a little... It looks almost like a grade school dancing trophy with a ballerina on top, but this one's silver and high quality, not plastic like the ones that you see from the 90s. That is at your level that you can just grab while you walk out. Perfect. I snatched that shit and I walk out and I said, I will see you soon. Thank you. I'm glad to help you with this quest. She's like, of course, thank you. And you now have a statue that is worth 35 gold in your possession. Well, 35 silver. I'm at 65 silvers. Awesome. Is there anything else? Or, first... All right, yeah, is there anything else you guys would like to do before we call it? Uh, can I cast Fireball at the church? No, you're not that strong yet. 
Okay. You can point at it and yell, Fireball! <laughs> mm. Any other potions I can craft with um, you in mind? Go ahead and look over that thing that I sent you. And so now you'll be rolling for, like, when you're around, we'll actually get you specific ingredients that are in that thing. And we can gain your level that way, too. Someone's trying to talk, and it keeps cutting him off. Does anybody in the party have a lightning spell? I do. I have several. Can I give you this old pickaxe, and you cast lightning at it? Mm. That's not how enchanting works, but... Yeah, I mean... If anything, it would just shock everybody. <laughs> I'm going to throw it really far away and you just shoot it. Um, give me a second. I can do lightning damage, but I'm not sure if I have any lightning spells. You don't have to do damage to it. You just have to, you just have to touch it with lightning. Um, thunder wave is thunder damage. Yeah, that's not electric damage. Um, For the potion of invulnerability, a piece of metal struck by lightning. So you just gotta shock it. Um. Let me see. Can you charge it in your hand and hold it? I mean, if you want to attack me with it, <laughs> then I could do my thunderous rebuke and do lightning damage to you through it. <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to throw the pickaxe at you. Well, you you won't want to throw it at me. You'll you'll need to actually like hit me. It has to be a melee attack, not a. Well, no. Um, when a creature, oh yeah, within five feet of me, yeah. So you'd have to actually hit me with it, and then I could. You can't you can't throw it at him. You actually have to have to have to hit him for it to work. I can't. I can't hit you and let go of it immediately. Like, just kind of, like, let go of that moment. It just, like, you, touches you your body. Faster than lightning. Technically. Because then that would be a throw. I got a good dexterity. <laughs> Technically, what's happening is I'm uh, shooting lightning at you, not the, the pickaxe. But since you're holding the pickaxe, it would strike you as well. We got, like, we, right got now, we got clerics here. Swing right now, I can do, I can only do thunder damage. Doriato yeah, I'll, I'll chap. As long as you can just strike it with lightning. I'm going to ask yeah. you to turn around and I'm going to bat you oh, on I the back sideways with the pickaxe and not stab you. <laughs> it's not that kind of strength. And hope that you will heal me after for whatever <laughs> damage I take. Well, you do get a deck saving throw to take half damage, so you need to roll higher than a um, four. You should write what get gooder. You get gooder. There you go. All right, you got it. So, <laughs> thirteen damage get as gooder. lightning strikes back at you. So you only take um, six damage. Four. Yeah, six damage. Okay, so now that I have my metal piece of metal pickaxe that has been struck with lightning, they don't have, have a chippy emoji for it. I would love to craft a potion of invulnerability. Fucking please! I'm dying. <laughs> That was self-inflicted. I'm not going to say you're dying. My little body. I can't take it. We're going to see what level of that potion is anyway. 
It's literally on the third, fourth. Oh, I'm like down Six, in the 20th page. Seven. My son and I got a victory Ninth royal. Page. Ninth page. So I have a crown right now. Yeah, page nine. Bottom left. Yes, I, I see it. So this is a... Hey, look, I healed you for 12 hit points. When are you going to play so I can lose it? Perfect, I, I have for... more life. <laughs> I healed you for more than you were damaged for. I'm just going to pee it out later, it's fine. Roll me a uh, potion making. What the heck was that? Is that a d20? Yeah, d20 plus your uh, proficiency, because you're proficient with your herbalism kit. So 15. So that would be, yep. So you're trying to put this. You get a sliver of that metal off of it. It's old. D2 plus herbalist's kit. It was uh, falling apart anyway. And you're able to get it in the bottle and mix it up with Low. some syrupy liquids. And yeah, you're able to make a potion of invulnerability. You barely got the DC. You barely passed. It was a Perfect. 15. That's all that matters. Um, so for a minute, a minute after you Good drink luck. that, Harley you are resistant to all damage. Cool. So you guys have been given a bunch of quests. Mm -hmm. Which one would you guys like to do first? Because that would—that's how I make my maps. But you can We're choose. Tanner. This Wait. game is confusing. <laughs> yeah, Tanner. Which one? <clears throat> you got the librarian lady. You got the priest. Equals you got MC. The... We got uh, librarian, priest, or pirate ship. Or the dancer. Or the dancer. That one's confusing, but I, th I think you understand. Or we could just leave. Do or ourselves. And roll a d20. Well, d4. the the there is five quests because the the librarian kind of gave you two. Whoa, that's a lot of dice. 163. Nice. So you can do go after masks. You can go after like the alchemist or the witch. You can go to the library. You can go after the sentinel stuff or you can go for the pirate's treasure. Can we go independently? Or is it all as a group? Um... All as a group, only because we're streaming this, and I don't want to do a thousand episodes. Oh, but all that hard work that you'd be doing would so be worth it. If, if it was my other game, I'd be fine with it, but this game's... We're supposed to only do it in ten sessions. Oh, I'm not that good for you, am I, daddy? You can join uh, my other group if you want. Uh, my vote for the masks. Go after masks. So witch, alchemist, alchemist, or... or witch, or I mean, the there's the traveling salesman, but you don't know where he is. You know, kind of where the alchemist or the witch is. Alchemist. I mean, you can just say it and say, "Hey guys, let's go after the alchemist." Hey girls, I'm down for that. Cool. The next week, we will hunt down the alchemist. And I will set an alarm on my phone. <laughs> awesome. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll. I'll be posting this. So you can look at it, or if we pretty much just came to this town, saved Bellada, Bell Donna, Bell Doris, Bell Bell Doris. Um, talk to all the people. Learned a little bit of lore. Gonna save the world. Need all the masks. And Sniff stole stuff. And Sniff stole stuff from a grieving lady. Heck yeah. It's still technically considered grave robbing. 
<laughs> I mean, officially, yes, it is grave robbing. Cool. Then All right, this will... was a very fun game. Thank you. Of course, it was a little. I return. Less exciting. Not not a fight, but we'll we'll get to that next week. Am I mod? Hell yeah. Not okay. yet. Cool. Then we will Whoa. come back next week and go after that alchemist. Okay, we're gonna slay him. Awesome. Well, Good, thank right. you, thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you. And I will see you next Bye. Saturday or ever any day this week because we always play together. I'll see you on Helldivers. Yeah. Bye. 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 I'll see it. See ya. Batman. Cool. Well, thanks for stopping by, Batman. You missed last night's stream? It was pretty good. We played Lethal Company, and I got scared. Um, and... Yeah, that's how I got scared. Who was that? Jorney. And Chorney scared me with that sound. Um, what is it? 1045? 1045. Um, I'm going to go to the bathroom and switch games up and play something else. What should I play? I got to delete that Alan Wake game. That was stupid. see all my stuff. Oh, no. What am I playing, Chorney? Chorney. Chorney. Music am I gonna listen to? Okay, but I gotta end the stream so I can save this stream. And